the director of the Movies of the Future program, Andrew Lipman. The Future of the Movies program is a new research effort directed at revolutionizing the production, distribution, home delivery, and viewing of motion pictures. A major part of this program addresses storing a complete high-quality movie on a consumer digital audio disc, as well as exploring several electronic methods for direct-to-the-home delivery. What you're seeing here is a small movie being played right from the computer. We're demonstrating various image quality levels, image coding techniques, and image sizes. To squeeze an entire image into the smallest space possible, we are exploring ways to use very few bits per point to represent a full color image. These sequences compare a priori allocation of colors in the image to adaptive schemes, where the colors used are chosen from the image sequence itself. In addition, spatial dither is used to make the errors less visible. In this sequence, we're comparing scan conversion methods, whereby we can assemble a high-quality image frame from a series of low-quality ones. On the left, computer text with high vertical detail is compared with a normal television image. If you grab frames from several different periods of time, there's often flicker, but the image quality of the computer-generated data looks better. This final sequence shows interframe vector quantization. On the left is the original image sequence, and on the right, the coded version. The left-hand image uses three times the bandwidth of the one on the right. Equal bandwidth versions are shown here. Network Plus is an experiment in merging newspaper data with television broadcasts. Closed caption data transmitted with the evening news is used to retrieve news articles that annotate the live broadcast. The computed program may be watched, read, or printed afterward. And Justice William Rehnquist has been nominated to replace him. That leaves a vacancy on the court, and the man who is nominated to be the newest justice is Antonin Scalia who presently sits on the U.S. Court of Appeals. So it's a major event in the life and times of this country, and we begin our coverage with Sam Donaldson at the White House. It was a secret that hadn't leaked. President Reagan's announcement today... As the program is assembled by the computer, selected frames that are detected to be of interest by the program are grabbed and saved in the upper corner. Those frames can be used in the printed edition to illustrate the newspaper. ...to sort out the principles that underlay the framers' words. 